Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday morning, I believe. Uh, given some thought, uh, my sister sent me to uh, YouTube, and there's all kinds of teachers under some kind of Armageddon Ministries. And they're all trying to prophesy the near future. First of all, I'd like to thank my sister for this little piece of jewelry here. I usually don't wear much around my neck. For the past couple of months, I've been wearing my brass key. It represents Revelation, the door in heaven that's opened a spiritual window or door that God opens, no man can close. God closes, no man can open. So that's with the little brass key. Plus, it's the fifth key, two H's in the sacred name of God. And those H's are in the fifth position of the Hebrew alphabet. Okay. And I would rather wear a throne around my neck than a cross. We are to go through or beyond the cross, through or beyond the blood, to born of the Spirit, quickened and made alive now our mortal body, the early out resurrection, waiting for the return of the Lord, the soon return of the Lord, because we're in the last hour of God's time clock. And that could have years to us as humans, <clears throat> but we're in the last hour of God's time clock. He's looked at uh, the evil of man since Sodom and Gomorrah for many centuries, decades, centuries, and thousands of years. We're near judgment again. I learned a long time ago, 43 years ago, 35 to 43 years ago when I was studying Revelation. Spirit told me I didn't have it right, so I put it down for many years. But I learned to quit trying to f predict a year, a month, a day, an hour, a place. A lot of this spiritual things that God is trying to reveal to us is a realm or situation. And I'm going to bring that point out when I read in Second Thessalonians. I'd like to start here, though. I have two Bibles in my lap. <clears throat> I want to start with the Gospel of John 14.6. Jesus saith unto him, and he was speaking to Doubting Thomas. So it's in red letters in the King James here. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Okay, so you can believe in supreme being God, Father, but if you don't believe in El God, Father's plan through the sent Messiah Christ, Son of Man, womb water, Son of God, spirit word, you're missing the salvation plan of El Father. And you can't come to El Father except by the Lord. He just said so here. Okay? And he said, I am the way. And the new sect that came out of Judaism after the death of the Lord on the cross stood in synagogue, raised their hands, called upon his name, and they were the new sect called the way, or the ways of God, the plan of God. All right? And I am the way, the truth, and the life. The promise of eternal life, quick and made alive now, godliness now, and godliness in the world to come, the realm to come. And he is the truth. If we turn to the 18th chapter of the Gospel of John, we just read the Gospel of John 14.6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Now, we turn to 1837. He's speaking to Pontius Pilate. 
and I'm verifying what is truth because we're going to end up in those that refuse to love the truth, refuse to love the will and plan of God. You may believe it a supreme being, a God of some kind, but it's about God's will and plan through the sent Son of God. All right, Son of Man, Son of God, because he was a human born of womb water. But he was spirit word. He was the Father in flesh. The Lord said to Doubting Thomas, when you see me, you see the Father. Okay, I hope I can get to the end of my teaching here. And Pilate therefore said unto him, Art thou a king then? The Lord Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king. And he was saying, You are right, I am a king, but not of this world or not of this realm. And then the Lord goes on to say, To this end I was born, for this cause came I into this world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone who is of the truth heareth my voice, and hears my teachings, and is born of the Spirit. Pilate answered and saith unto him, What is truth? The will and plan of God through Christ Messiah, the sent Son, is truth. So the Spirit word, El Father, in the Lord Jesus Christ, the truth, the will and the plan was standing before Pilate, the most truthful human and the most truthful spirit and word known to man was face to face with Pilate. And the, the Lord Jesus Christ said in earlier the Gospel of John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Seven minutes. Now I want to turn to Second Thessalonians and read quickly. The coming of the lawless one by the uh, by the activity of Satan will be with all power and with pretended signs and wonders and with all wicked deception for those who are to perish because they refuse to love the truth. You might believe in supreme being God, but you have to believe in the truth, the sent Son of God, because he said he's the way, the truth, and the life, and he came to bear witness to the truth, and the spirit word truth was in him, in his heart, mind, and he spoke it, and he taught it. I read on. They refuse to love the truth and be saved. Therefore, God sends upon them a strong delusion. God sends hope you got that. God sends upon them a strong delusion to make them believe what is false or make them believe a lie so that they may be condemned who did not believe the truth, believe the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Nazareth the Messiah Christ and had pleasure in unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks to God always for you, brethren, beloved, saint sons, son saints, mature, by the Lord, because God chose you from the beginning. There is elect, there are many called, there are few remnant chosen, placed, in truth, in Christ, saint sons mature. Ephesians 1, 5, a placing a son, a son saint, mature and responsible. Now, I'm going to back up here and read Thessalonians 2, I wish I had 3. Let no one deceive you in any way, for the day will not Come unless the rebellion come first or the revolt come first. Now, there have been rebellions and revolts 
for the past 2,000 years plus since the cross. They overthrew the Russian czar. That's a rebellion and a revolt. Okay? So point being, the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Paul wrote this 2,000 years ago. It's not a year, a month, a day, or an hour in the future. It's an atmosphere or a realm. And God sends a spirit of deception to condemn those that don't love the truth, that don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ raised from the dead as Savior in life. 10 minutes and 42 seconds. I could go on for another 10 minutes. I hope a light came on in your heart mind. Let no one deceive you. A lot of false prophets are trying to, that are predicting every month, supposedly February 17th is the end of the world according to some man who's been reading Hebrews and can prove it in Hebrews. Let no man deceive you. It's all about God's timing and will. Even the Lord said when they asked him, is this when you restore Israel and give us a king and power and authority? And he says, there's things that belong to the Father, and only the Father knows them and initiates them. And there were some things thrown to John, the seven thunders, and he was about to write, and, and the Spirit told him, John, don't put that in Revelation. Don't write that, even though you see that and understand that and know that. So there are things that God has saved for himself to reveal at the proper realm or placing, not a particular year, month, time, date, or hour. I love you. I'm trying to teach spiritual truth. I am the truth teacher, the spirit teacher, Eugene Bear. Have a great day. Bye.